Hi, I want to talk to you today about Prophet Song by Paul Lynch. And this is shortlist, no, long listed for the Booker Prize. I have a feeling that this will be shortlisted and I think this has the potential to actually win it. Um, did I enjoy it? Um, it is a very dark read. There's no joy. There's no laughter. There's no light. Um, we're in Ireland and um, it's an island that could be almost within touching distance of where we are today. And I think, I don't think he chose Ireland as um, a place where there's spe specifically political tensions or anything like that. But I think he chose it to show that these events can happen anywhere, anytime. Um, here, the, the right have taken over and trade unions, protests, they're all banned, they're all being broken up. And our main character, Eilish, a mother of four, her husband is a trade unionist and he's organising a protest of teachers. And then he disappears. And from that point on, her life changes drastically. And we see events through her eyes. She's the mother of four. Um, we've got 16 year old Mark. Um, I think Molly is 14, Bailey is 12, and then we've got the baby Ben, who is a late surprise to the family. And alone, she is trying to work. She's a scientist. And she's trying to keep the children together. She's trying to keep the home together. And she's trying to find out where her husband has been taken. She can get, nobody will tell her anything about her husband. And added to this, she's got a father who, although he's living independently, is beginning to become confused. And... In this new regime, the where she works, the owners, the, the, the managers are replaced by people on the right and she finds herself out of a job. And the right, we, we are coming into it almost a totalitarian scenario where even her son, a 12 year old son is accused of laughing inappropriately at a teacher. You know, it's, it's that type of thing. And then there's a civil war breaking out. It reminded me very much of, it reminded me of Black Butterflies that I read for the Women's Prize for Fiction, the descriptions of this, the siege in Sarajevo. The, the, the things that Eilish has to contend with the the queues, the no electricity, the no water, you know, that's that type of thing. And everything is unravelling and we've got violence. And the thing is, this novel isn't unbelievable because we've heard these stories before in other countries, you know, sort of when dictators have taken over, people have disappeared. Um, you've got Sarajevo, right down to sort of the present day conflicts. We have heard this sort of story before. So what he's talking about is not unbelievable. And, you know, where uh, yeah, people have disappeared because their views don't match those who are in control. These are stories of, you know, the stories we've heard of different times and different places. But what he does, what the author's done here, is show us in this book that those events can happen anywhere at any time. And that is totally, totally unsettling. 
it's a very unsettling read you you are gripped by it because you you are with eilish you you are desperately wanting her to find a husband to find joy to find light and you are gripped by her story and everything that she has to go through it's not an enjoyable read. It's an unsettling read. And I think this has the potential to win. Um, on my own list of books that, uh, where I like, you know, the, you know, my hierarchy of books that I've ranked in orders that I like them. I've still got House of Doors as number one. This, I think it'd probably be three or fourth, a third or fourth. Um... I think this has got the potential to go all the way. So, uh, Prophet Song by Paul Lynch. Um, on the book along list, we'll find out on the 21st of September whether it makes a shortlist. So happy reading. Take care.